We got the FJS F4 gel ball blaster here from zenduoblaster.com or zendutoys.com. And I just did a few cosmetic things to it. I really like this blaster. I think it's a really cool, great quality blaster as it sits. I just thought I'd go ahead and put a couple things on it. You already got this really cool long handguard, right? That incorporates both standard Picatinny rails and M-lock rails. So wanted to go ahead and utilize that some. And then something I've never done before is make one of these Hydra style mounts. Um, it might be referred to as one other thing as well. But that's a mount that's, you know, a riser here that's made for the PEQ box. And then you'd have your sight kind of behind it that's raised up above it so you can see over it. And then I use some really cool canted flip up style sights on the side that I'll show you. The grip comes with it. So that comes with it from Zenduo. And then I added just kind of some M-Lock grip pieces here. And then, of course, the M-Lock trigger or um, pressure switch for the PEQ. PEQ is from Action Union. Action Union sells on Amazon. They sell a bunch of um, airsoft accessories that work great for uh, gel blasters. And they're not crazy expensive. PEQ boxes still are going to range $50 to $100 even for airsoft versions. The cool canted sights here are from a company called Bear Arms and like the animal bear and then arms with a Z. I believe it's actually a Minnesota company, which is where I live. And then we've got a nice optic on there too. I believe that's from CV Life on Amazon. So you got the cool flip up metal canted right, um, sights. We got this nice riser with the PEQ on it. So just kind of really cool design i thought to incorporate this since we had this nice long blaster we do that and then of course it's a threaded tip so that's going to let you put all kinds of different things on it so overall just some cool cosmetic upgrades let me try this different riser which i've never used before i always like to try new and different things to show you guys some of the different things that can be 3d printed and how it looks on your blaster so check out this fjs f4 from Zenduo Blaster. I've got other videos where I talk about it more in depth, kind of the more traditional unboxing slash description video and demos, of course. I'll still demo it set up like this just to put another video up there and because it looks pretty cool. Comments, questions, post them below. Of course, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, participate in those monthly giveaways, ring the notification bell so you know when those videos are posted. About $200 worth of blasters and accessories every month on my YouTube channel. Thanks for your support.